We all know that Terraria is 2D Minecraft, but did you know that you can play Minecraft in Terraria? Indeed you can with this Terraria Minecraft loadout. Check this out. Starting off, for our tools, we're going to be using the iron pickaxe and an iron axe. I wish there were diamond tools in Terraria, but this is the best we can really get. For our weapons, this was very hard to find, but we're going to be using a iron broadsword as an iron sword, a wooden bow because Minecraft of course, as you guys know, has bows, hallowed repeater, that's going to be our Terraria version of a crossbow, a titanium trident, which is going to replicate, of course, the trident, and some cursed arrows that are going to replicate poison arrows from Minecraft. We're going to be wearing frost armor, as that looks closest to what diamond armor looks like in Minecraft, and equip creeper vanity. For our accessories, we have lightning boots, as Steve is a pretty fast runner. We have a titan glove to boost our melee damage, as a lot of Minecraft, frankly, relies on melee damage. We have a quiver, just to boost our bow, I'm going to equip an ink charm and a band of regeneration because Steve in Minecraft regenerates really quickly. We're going to use a diamond hook because who doesn't love diamonds? And for our potions, we're going to have a thorns potion, which is going to simulate the thorns enchantment in Minecraft. Regeneration, which is going to act as a regen potion. Archery potion, just to boost our arrow damage. And for food, we have steak. As you know, Minecraft has steak, so we can't go wrong with that. And lastly, I decided to get a dog whistle just to give us a little puppy in the game. Isn't that just awesome? Minecraft has dogs. Terraria has dogs perfect before we get into the first boss this series was suggested by a user in our discord so be sure to go in the description down below and join our discord server to connect with the community but let's get on to the first boss so how does the creeper set do against the eye of cthulhu frankly i think we're just gonna put all the weapons to the test and really not stress about leaving the hard mode weapons for last because we don't have many good weapons to play with like look we have a wooden bow what is a wooden bow gonna do against most bosses let's try out this iron sword use the titanium trident a little bit as you can see we've used up our buff from the stake so we have the stake helping us out. Finish off the Av Cthulhu. How about we kill the Av Cthulhu with this repeater? Let's see how many shots it takes. Two, three, four. Boom. Av Cthulhu is dead. Creeper absolutely destroyed the Av Cthulhu. Let's move on to the next boss. The next boss I really wanted to try out was the Brain of Cthulhu. I know we haven't fought this on the series yet, but I really want to see how this Minecraft loadout does against the Brain. It's still a bit of an easier boss, but of course, we can't just jump into the hardest bosses at first. That'd be absolutely no fun. Let's take out the Hallowed Repeater, and we absolutely destroyed the boss. Moving on. Guys, I tried to summon in Skeletron during the daytime. I completely forgot. I completely forgot what happens when you summon Skeletron during the day. That was not a very high IQ move of me. Uh, how about, how about we try that one more time? Let's use up all of our buffs. Creeper in the nighttime. Get that wooden bow action in here. Let's damage him a little bit with the iron sword. Let's see if we can break one of his hands using the iron sword. Get the titanium trident. Break his hand. Let's finish him off with the iron broadsword. I feel like we're not giving this sword enough love. One hit, two hit. Oh, we'll definitely finish him here. We did not finish him here. That was, uh, that was a very poor move. Look, come on, guys. He has 70 health, few hits, and he's dead. These bosses are a little bit too easy. How about we try to fight the Wall of Flesh? Let's see how the Minecraft set does against the Wall of Flesh. This is prime time to try to use the hook. Let's grapple around a little bit. How do you reckon we're gonna do? Let's just use the wooden bow at first. We gotta be really cautious here because I only have like rocket boots and that's just not going to be very good at taking out all these guys. I'm gonna get lost. I'm gonna fall into lava like every single other time. Let's clear these using the titanium trident. Get rid of the hungry. Do a little bit of damage on the wall of flesh. But we're gonna fall into lava. I don't wanna fall into lava. Let's get the titanium repeater to shoot. That's gonna deal a lot of damage. That's probably, we're only gonna kill it if we use that. We just fell into lava. Oh no, it's pushing us into lava. We can't do anything about that. Oh my goodness, this is, this is intense. This is intense. Can we beat it let's finish it with the iron sword and we beat it with the iron sword oh my god i actually didn't think that was gonna happen let's uh let's mine in here what is our loot trash 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 since most of our weapons are ranged weapons, how about we make our first hard mode boss the twins? Usually, I do the destroyer, but I feel like the twins would make much more sense now. And I guess let's use the repeater. You guys always keep on saying I'm garbage at the game. Let's see how garbage I really am. Can I defeat the twins with frost armor and a hallowed repeater? I mean, a hallowed repeater is pretty good though, so <laughs> I mean, that's not saying much. I think the frost armor actually gives us melee damage, so it might be worth it using the titanium trident. I completely negated heals though, so that's stupid on my part. We have no healing potions we're just doing this raw. This is absolute pure skill. And we don't have any wings. If we had wings, this would be a piece of cake. The fact that I have to try to beat these guys with rocket boots is, uh, it hurts me a little bit. It's very tough. You think we're gonna make it? I actually doubt it. Yeah, no, we're gonna get KO'd right here. And at any time now, look at our health. Especially once he gets into this form. No, it's GG for us. The creeper will frankly not stack up against the twins. Then we're also taking fall damage. Yeah. Actually, can we do it? Can we do it? Right here, he's gonna start shooting. 
Yo, guys, we actually beat the twins using the Minecraft set? Okay, see, I'm not as garbage as you guys say, you know, sometimes, sometimes I know I can be bad at the game, but look, boyo, oh boyo, beat the twins as a creeper, as a Minecraft creeper. What other Minecraft creepers do you know that can beat the twins? That's what I thought, none. Well, since we beat the twins, the only next logical boss is Skeletron Prime, so let's see how we do against Skeletron Prime. We're gonna use this, uh, this crossbow, the Hallowed Repeater. Maybe we can get some melee action in here. Let's see if we can get some melee damage, but I feel like that's gonna, <laughs> we're gonna die. Oh no, there is no way I'm I'm taking out the wooden bow I'm, I'm definitely not gonna use that for sure so that's uh, don't even don't even be there in the comments like oh my god you're not using the right weapons you're not you're not utilizing all the weapons guys I'm not gonna use I'm not gonna use a wooden bow for Skeletron Prime that's a video within itself beating Skeletron Prime with a wooden bow like expecting too much of me we do have healing potions from the twins so that's one plus we might have a chance in actually winning here imagine if we like ran out of arrows how hilarious would that be you're just like mid boss fight and you run out of arrows I wonder if that's ever happened to anyone Put down in the comments below if you just ran out of ammo mid boss fight. That probably sucks. Skeletron Prime. Okay, for sure we're beating Skeletron Prime. The mech bosses. You know what? This is pretty valid for mech bosses. It's, it's still a little bit slow, but it's valid. That's all I can say. Mech bosses go down pretty easy with this loadout. No questions asked. Let's get a little bit more arrows because I really don't want to run out of these cursed arrows. All right. So what is the next logical boss after Skeletron Prime? If you guys have half a brain cell, you probably know. You probably can guess that it's Moon. Nah, no, I'm kidding. Of course, it's Plantera. We're going to be fighting Plantera. Plantera. Let's see how the Minecraft set does against Plantera. This, this is what scares me, you know? Like, the mech bosses are whatever. I can deal with the mech bosses. Plantera, no matter how much I trash her, she's actually pretty tough. She's pretty tough if you don't have gear. So I do not even want to know how badly we're going to die here. Look, look at our health already. Oh my god. Our defense, look, 47 defense is not holding up against Plantera whatsoever. Are you kidding me? Look how fast our health is draining. For the next time we fight these bosses, we're gonna have arenas because this is not, this is not it. Oh, look at her health what is this this is a joke it's not even fair man it's not even fair i'm literally getting bullied by these bosses I don't remember last time I fought Queen Slime, but I feel like this might be a boss we should test out. Of course, she's not as hard as the mech bosses from what I remember, so this should be a piece of cake, but still. It's another hard mode boss that we could do that's not really post Plantera. so let's see how we do against the Queen Slime. The thing is, guys, like, I do not know her attacks, as I told you, like, I'm very new to 1.4. I played a lot of modded Terraria and Terraria 1.3, so I'm getting absolutely destroyed by her just because I haven't learned her AI. Like, all these mech bosses, I know them pretty well, guys. Like, come on, I've played this game a lot. I have, like, I probably have like a thousand hours if I add everything together, so I know those. But like, what is going on here? I have never seen this. I have never- I don't even think I've fought this boss before. What? What is this? What? Like, are you kidding? I don't- I do not know what's going on. Do, do all those deal damage? This is more bullet hell than the Empress of Light. Oh my goodness, look at that. Holy- there's so many slimes. What do I do? Like, <laughs> let's use the trident. Nah, get rid of these. Get out of here. Get out of here, you. Who do you think you are? That is something I never want to repeat ever again. We are never fighting that boss again oh my god what was that another boss i always hype up is the lunatic cultist we couldn't even beat plantera so how are we gonna beat the lunatic cultist i don't know but it's worth a try let's see how far this try gets us though we're already fairly low on health <laughs> no this is so bad how do i why do i put myself through this like i know i'm just gonna get this just hurts my soul this is not healthy for for your mental spiritual and physical health to torture yourself in these ways can i actually try i bet you by the end of this season, Series, I'm gonna get so good at fighting these bosses just because I'm putting myself through so much torture I'll probably be able to beat like the lunatic cultist with literally like a wooden bow You're gonna see boyo boyo fighting moon lord with a copper bow. Okay, let's not miss this deal as much damage as we can to him Ah, uh, the thing is we take fall damage. We take so much fall damage. That's really like that's really bad for our, bad for our HP Let's see if I get him halfway. I'll be happy well, we did not get him halfway, but we were pretty close. We were pretty close. Look at our inventory. This looks like something straight out of Minecraft. You can't even lie. Look at, look at this. We got dirt. We got the diamonds. Oh my god. Okay, so as usual for the series, the very last boss we fight is Moon Lord. And you know, you know me, I always fight the Moon Lord. So let's move on to the last boss. Arguably the hardest boss, the Moon Lord. I have high hopes. I have high expectations that our 47 defense and hallowed repeater is gonna get us to the end of this boss fight. But sometimes hopes let you down, guys. That's just the part of growing up and realizing that life isn't all about you. Oh my god, look at our health. I'm getting a second coming of that realization. 
Wow, that arrow flew in from the top. What was that? That was just adding insult to injury. Oh my god. Well, we didn't fare too well. Minecraft. Minecraft should just stick to the Ender Dragon and stay away from the Moon Lords. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to check out another loadout video of mine. Consider subscribing to the channel. Join our Discord down below. I'll see you guys in another video. Peace out.